Hey, it's Andy. Um, Sappy's here with me and she thinks I'm talking to her, um, but I'm actually talking to you and most of you, actually none of you have ever seen this before me like this because I've never actually done this before. Um, deep breath. This, I couldn't not come on to a live video today and talk about what happened. I had a really, really, really powerful experience this morning. I, um, as many of you know, I needed to file the corporation sole documents yesterday with the state of Montana. And when I went to go deposit the money into the bank account for Standard of the Sacral Heart Spiritual Fellowship last night, the debit card was declined for a deposit. Usually you don't have problems with banks not taking your money. Um, but I talked with somebody last night and they told me that the bank had, or that the account had probably gone dormant and I could get in there this morning and make it go live again. So activation, activation is good, um, especially with Mercury going direct. And so I went in and I made the deposit and the account will be reopened in 24 hours and the check that's at the Secretary of State in Montana will clear and we'll get our corporation soul and we'll be able to move forward um, legally buying the Wild Plum Station as a standard of the Sacral Heart Spiritual Fellowship, which is wonderful. But I had a lot of questions about other things I needed to handle from a banking perspective and I needed to get a new debit card and so they set me up with a banker who just happened to be free um, and during the entire time that we were there her appointment that was supposed to be there never wound up showing up and we know how these things work. I have struggled with using my voice. I have struggled with trusting that my voice is actually going to be heard out there because I have had experiences over and over and over and over and over again that wire into me that I am misunderstood and that the nature of my soul and the character of myself as a person aren't seen. And I trust that those who are supposed to see me actually do and those who aren't supposed to don't and that's great. But this morning I had a really really powerful experience with the banker. I started telling her about the Corporation Soul. I mentioned what we wanted to do out in Montana and she asked me questions about it and I started telling her and everything that moves us to be out in Montana just suddenly started coming through me and she told me she had goosebumps <laughs> and she asked me more questions about it and I mentioned Vermont and she asked me how did we get from Vermont to Montana and I took a deep breath and I paused and I said okay we are shaman we work intuitively and sometimes when doors are closed we can scratch our head and go well maybe those doors are supposed to be closed and maybe we're not supposed to go in that direction and she encouraged me to tell her more and so I did and I told her really, really candidly about the signs and how Elburn was given to us about holding space and the confluences of the 38 and the 47 numbers and all of the stuff that I post about on Facebook and how surrendered we are and how miraculous it is that we're being led someplace that we can do everything, feet on the ground, serving a real live population with the things that we've been holding in the ether webs for the last three years. And she just sat there in awe and I was overwhelmed with awe. And, you know, my eyes started getting a little bit leaky at the corners and it was really, really powerful. And then some amazing things just happened. She told me how touched she was by this and we continue doing the business things that we needed to do. And, I told her about some of the struggles that we've had about how the bank I'm at is the only one who really seems to recognize what a 508C1A um, religious organization is and that places like eBay and PayPal don't get that and that showing the booster t-shirt company, the not-for-profit checking account, validated for them that we are religious and a charitable organization. And so she wrote me a letter 
Of course, I'm not going to be able to find it now. Did I even bring it with me? Yikes. Anyhow, she wrote me a letter on Letterhead stating that Oh, you gads. I didn't bring it with me. Oh, wait. She sent me a letter on Letterhead, which you can't read because it's backwards, basically stating that SOTSH Spiritual Fellowship has had a business nonprofit checking account with um, the bank since 9-13-2013. It's currently active, and she has her phone number and her name that if anybody has any questions, they can call her. And then on a lark, I'm like, you know, I think I need some checks and does the bank still offer free checks and she said well I can get you 10 of them for or 30 of them for ten dollars and I kind of mentioned what our situation was and she's printing off the letter and then she comes back with these which I don't know if you can see but they are checks printed in the name of Standard of the Sacral Heart Spiritual Fellowship, and there are nine of them! And we know that in the language that the universe works with us is that nine has to do with our spiritual path and journey, and she gave them to us absolutely free, and she handed them to me, and it literally was everything I could do to not burst into tears, and then she spoke some words that were really, really powerful. And she said, Andy, if there's anything you need, let me know. She goes, I know a good soul when I see one. And I can't tell you how powerful that was to go out today, especially when I had so much anxiety and was on near border of a panic attack, attack going out this morning because I couldn't find my banking cards on the way out the door and I thought I lost them. Um, so affirming to walk in there and to be seen and have my voice actually connect with spirit moving through someone. Like I've been shown that if I use my voice, it'll connect with spirit and other people. And it did. And I told her, I said, I feel like I have a Sherpa in you that you're helping me get places that... I may not necessarily know how to get on my own. And she said, that's what I'm here to do. Please don't hesitate to ask. So I'm not. And the experience this morning was just so powerful that I had to come here and I had to put it in video. And I had to let you know that I'm doing my work. I am working on my voice and it may not be really, really strong yet keep on practicing and I keep on using it, it will get there. And I'm just going to trust that those who are supposed to hear what we have to say, those who are supposed to recognize what we are doing will indeed hear what we are saying and doing and will respond to it. So if you have stuck through this entire thing, I thank you. For your graciousness and I appreciate your ears and I love you. Thank you. Ciao.